so this news is basically making its way around. Today is the 19th. This article is from the 19th. And it's talking about a new infection. It says, Britain offers smallpox shot as monkeypox cases spread in Europe. This is also happening in both Spain and as well as in Portugal. And the most recent cases are in the U.S. I believe it was in Massachusetts. And so they're having multiple cases spreading to different parts of the world. Now, according to the articles, the article is saying that there's two different strains. One is the Congo strain, which is more severe, has a mortality rate of 10%. And the one that is making the rounds is the West, uh, West African strain. Uh, which has about a fatality rate, as it says here, of 1%. Now, most of this, of course, is among the gay population, according to both Spain, the UK, and as well as in Portugal. All of this is being spread among, typically through gay men, as the article goes on to say. Um, as it says here, let's pull this up, go to control F, right? And so it says, meanwhile in Britain, it says the UK HSA has highlighted that recent cases in the country were predominantly among men who self-identified as either gay, bisexual, or men who have sex with men. And so obviously most men typically don't use protection, especially among the gay population, which is why, you know, HIV and other sexually transmitted diseases are typically very high among gay men and why many of them typically don't live as long because individuals don't want to use any sort of protection obviously there's no natural lubrication um, with the way that not like when men have sex with a woman right the vagina is naturally lubricated by comparison to when uh, men do it that is not the case now <clears throat> there was a recent uh, a lab leak uh, where there are missing lab monkeys that were found after a truck crash in pennsylvania and this was back in january for those who had forgotten and for those who have forgotten there was a woman right this is from january 25th of this year this is woman falls ill after exposure to uh, monkey dogs uh, to monkeys at a pennsylvania crash site it says that she had been exposed to the feces and to the saliva and as well she needed to seek medical treatment and so this was something that Bill Gates had talked about a while ago, about how there could be a weaponization for uh, smallpox. And of course, now the UK is utilizing the smallpox vaccine because monkeypox is basically like the cousin. It's like a long distant cousin to smallpox. Um, there was an interesting article that I read not too long ago talking about the vaccine for polio and how at the time... Um, there were like three different scientists who had like their own version, kind of like how you had with uh, C-19, where there were like multiple companies that came out with their vaccine. And if you do a little bit of research, there's some articles that were from like the 1990s talking about was HIV spread through the polio vaccine. And of course, everybody denies it, but there were certain articles that had come out talking about how one of the researchers who came out with the polio vaccine had talked about how it was obviously through monkeys. They utilized certain types of monkeys to create the polio vaccine. And what was believed was that one of the monkeys was, was where the strain of HIV supposedly comes from. It was a really interesting article. You can do a Google search for it, but there's a lot of interesting information um, talking about that stuff. And it's, it's much more, in depth it's not you know like heavily censored like the like the timeline basically the timeline like that we live in where everything is very heavily censored back in the early 90s and 80s and the 70s a lot of this stuff wasn't that censored and there's a lot of different groups offering information just like you can look up for example what was going on in the early 1900s with the original pandemic and why where it came from why it was called the spanish influenza right anyway but moving forward this is definitely something to pay attention to because we don't know how it'll be weaponized. And this is typically basically the point is because this is not natural. And, I, and of course, uh, previously it was not, they're saying that it's spread through um, the article here was talking about how it's typically being found spread through sexual intercourse. And so that's typically not the way it spreads, but it is something to keep an eye on, especially because nowadays a lot of people don't use 
excuse me, a lot of people don't use protection. And especially if women are having unprotected sex with men who are bisexual, and then they're taking that disease and then they're spreading it to um, straight men who unfortunately may be having unprotected sex as well. Anyway, I'm going to leave all these articles down below for those who are interested. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.